Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And for today's video, I am working on some Outlander art. So I drew up this drawing of Jamie and Claire and I sketched it in my watercolor sketchbook because I am working in watercolor and then colored pencil. So as you can see here, I'm just laying down a base color for their skin, hair and shirts just because the colouring is kind of similar um, and then I go in with other colours like the blue on the skirt um, and yeah so I'm a big Outlander fan and I'm very excited for the new season um, when this video goes up I think it'll be like two days until the new season comes out so it is almost here um, and this image is actually referenced from one of the photographs taken in the recent Entertainment Weekly photo shoot. Um, I really like this image. I like the bright green background and everything, and just the pose. And I thought it would make for a cool piece of art. And it's been a little while since I did something kind of more realistic in coloured pencil. Um, so yeah, I found with their faces, I could get it to look somewhat like them because it was quite small. It was just really hard to get a lot of detail in, um, you know, in, into such a small space and. I feel like it does look like them, not like 100%, um, but I think it's close enough. Um, and then I had a lot of fun with the fabric in this piece because you've got both of their shirts and then Claire's skirt, which was really fun actually. Um, I don't really draw fabric very often, uh, but it is it is pretty fun and I'm happy with how it turns out in this piece, but you guys will see that later on. because. I wanted to work on the faces first, just because the faces were so small, um, you know, I was like, you know what, I might mess this up and it might look really bad and I might have to start again, so I figured if I started with the faces, if I stuffed up, then I haven't wasted, you know, any more time on it, um, compared to say, working on the skirt and the shirts and then the faces, if I stuff it up then, then it's kind of like I've just put all this effort into, you know, doing another part of the piece when I'm not going to like it anyway. So that's why I wanted to work on the faces first. Um, it's a good idea to do that sometimes on a piece, like if you're working on something, um, sometimes it's best to go for like, I guess the most difficult part first or the part that you think might be difficult. Um, and that can save you a lot of time rather than working on another area and then you just stuff it up later on another part of it. So yes. Um, so yeah, once I put down the watercolour, you guys will see that I've started working in coloured pencil and I am using my uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos. I got them for my birthday early this year and I've used them a little bit here and there but it had been a little while since I used them so that was another reason why I wanted to work in watercolour and coloured pencil. Um, and yeah, like I like putting the watercolour down first just because it's like an easy way to put down a lot of colour at once. Um, and then you can layer like the coloured pencils over the top. Um, and yeah, for this piece I was going for a more realistic look. Um, a lot of my work includes a lot of line work and I didn't exactly want that for this piece. Although you will see that there is some kind of line work in this piece. I didn't, you know, not include it at all. I think it works well, um, but it's definitely a more realistic approach compared to my other kinds of work. Um, that was kind of fun and you'll notice for kind of like the outlines I like to use the similar colors so for the shirts uh, or for Jamie's character I'm using a more kind of darker warm color for the outlines whereas with Claire um, I use a kind of more cooler dark brown tone for outlining her shirt kind of the same colors that I used on their hair because Claire has brown hair and Jamie has like reddish hair. Um, so yeah, I feel like that kind of flowed a bit better and I do end up adding like a really dark blue um, for Jamie's pants and the outline of Claire's skirt. And I do try to incorporate that a bit later on in the line work just so that the bottom half wasn't so separate to the top half. Um, and yeah, that's basically uh, the process for this piece. I don't have too much more to say about that so I will talk about some other things. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel yet, 
maybe I have, I can't remember. Um, but basically, I've decided to create a separate Instagram for my art. Um, so beforehand, I just had my one Instagram account and I would post personal photos on there as well as art ones and I don't know, I, I almost felt limited uh, with posting either of those things because I'd want to post a personal photo but then I'm like, oh you know, I've already posted a ton of personal photos, I don't want there to be too many. Um, and even same with art, I'd be like, oh I've posted tons of art, I don't want to post too much. And I figured, look, if I just kind of keep them separate, that way I'm not limited. Um, and then I have one, you know, specifically for my art and one for my personal life. Um, so if you do want to follow me on my new art Instagram, it is at mxmarieart. Super easy. If you follow my personal one, you can easily find it on there. Um, and so far I've got just over a hundred followers, so in comparison to anything else, it's not that much, but I'm pretty happy because with my personal one, over time the content has kind of changed. When I first made it many years ago, it was mainly just personal with some art. Then I kind of decided to make it more of an art one, so I would post mainly art, some personal, um, and I feel like that kind of, um, I don't know, there was kind of a difference in my followers. I feel like there was a lot of people there for personal stuff, but then a lot of people there for art, and, you know, whatever they were there for, they didn't like the different kinds of posts, if that makes sense. So, anyway, I'm really happy that I separated it, and I think it's working well. At least I know everybody on my art account is there for my art. Um, so yeah, it just works much better for me. So if you want to go follow me, feel free to do so at mxmarieart. So that is all from me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And here is the finished piece. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I'm just really excited for the new season. Um, how excited are you guys? Let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.